It may be the long-running American number one soap, but even when there was more competition, same-sex relationships were never a the young and the restless. Your strength, see, here. Days of our lives married Sonny and Will, as did all my children with Bianca and Reese. As the world turns head on again, off again Luke and Noah, guiding light developed Olivia and Natalia, one life to live introduced Fish and Kyle, and General Hospital explored Christina and her professor. Is it time for Y&R to get on the bandwagon? Here's what almost 4,000 viewers had to say. Back to before. Too much, too soon, too fast, push back 69% of you. This is not what you tune into soaps to see. The sexual tension between Tessa, Kate Fairbanks, and Mariah, not to mention the kiss they shared was inappropriate, and if your insists on going down this path, you intend to take a different road, right out of Genoa City. The sexual tension between Tessa and Mariah, not to mention the kiss they shared was inappropriate, and if your insists on going down this path, you intend to take a different road, right out of Genoa City. Who would you like to see Devon with? Mariah. He needs to get back together with Hillary. He needs somebody completely new. Vote. View results. Yes, but. For 27% of the audience, it's not the same sex relationship that bothers them, it's who the show chose to tell their story with. Mariah has never expressed any bisexual inclinations in the past, and it feels like it just popped up out of nowhere. What happened to her feelings for Devon? Granted, we have no idea what kind of life Mariah led in the commune. Maybe she's had relationships with women, before. But it sure would have been nice for her to mention it so viewers didn't feel so blindsided. The right in vote. A little over 5% of you weren't happy with your two choices, too binary, you know? And so wrote in opinions ranging from I don't mind, to it's about time to the enthusiastic gopher 